Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach and uh, Anthony Mackie, the Falcon, now Captain America, says the bromance between Falcon and the Winter Soldier is more like a no-mance. When they go to the movie theater, they leave an empty seat in between them. They don't sit right next to each other. So, um, uh, had kind of a weird day. Early dentist appointment, it threw off my whole ske schedule, sleep in the afternoon. You know, you, the, you, you know how the nap is. You nap for an hour and a half, you're good. Two hours, you just destroy yourself. I think mine was about an hour, 45 minutes. So I basically had to go do some errands or fresh air. Nothing was going to be right. So when I woke up, I see SJW's freaking out and uh, I hear about this story. So he basically says that um, uh, he's bothered because uh, people keep trying to force two straight men who are friends into being gay because they can't imagine that two straight men could be friends could be emotional, could be close, without them being gay. Um, the thing he's getting hemmed up on is he didn't choose his words exactly perfectly. If you read the interview, and I'm sure lots of people are going to do screen captures, and you will totally understand what he's saying, but of course SJWs are purposely misconstruing, uh, you know, uh, what he's saying. You know, like how, how dare you say that, you know, uh, gay men aren't masculine? Well, he wasn't talking about all of them. And, and it's very clear what his point is, uh, that there's a an obsessive need to make all uh, men uh, uh, that are have you know a friend. Oh, just look, that I mean that's gay. It's a man standing next to another man. I mean that's basically as gay as it gets. So it made me think about. <laughs> this is an awkward segue. It made me think about my time in the Marines. So I was in the Marines first, then Army National Guard, then Army, then Army National Guard again. Uh, Army National Guard was. It was not funny. It was not funny. It was just standing in parking lots the whole time, which is weird because I'm sitting in a parking lot right now. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, you make these friends and they're friends for life. But at some point you realize some of them are your friends, but all of them are your brothers. There, I once had to, you know, um, go to a, a meeting with a, a couple of them, like 10 years after uh, I got out. And um, uh, there was a point where I was hanging out with, you know, some of the Marines. Um, and I realized these are not my friends. <laughs> in fact, I don't really like them. Um, we just don't have a lot in common. And plus, you know, when I went to the Marines, I was like 26. So I was eight years older than my peers. When I went into the uh, army, geez, it was, I, don't know, I was like 12 years older than my peers. I'm talking about like people of the same rank with the same amount of time in the military. Like they would be like 22 and I would be 34. So they're like, how come, you know, you never hang out with us? It's because because when I was a senior in high school, you were in kindergarten. It's weird for us to hang out. Um, that n Now, we're still, you know, brothers to this day. That means I will literally die for you and vice versa. Um, that's why I've always found uh, civilian friendships are kind of like, uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, go-bots to Transformers. It's like, cool, so we like drink together? So are you going to die for me? No? This feels like a downgrade. Um, so one of the things that's so uh, awkward about, you know, they're always talking about toxic masculinity, is whenever men show emotion, then they get mocked for it or called that they're gay. Woke people in 2021 and a homophobe in 1985 have the exact same reactions to things. It's like, so it's like you and a dude? Freaking gay. <laughs> you show any kind of emotion? It's... Yeah, you're gay, dude. You're gay. It's like, can you stop? Men can be friends with other men. Most men are not gay because most people are not gay because you don't have a species where everyone's gay. It doesn't work like that. The math doesn't add up. I, I, I always just wonder, like, who's going to take care of all the, the superheroes when they're in their 80s? There's no straight people in these universes. You have negative population growth. Uh, but I just thought it was very interesting. I, you know, everyone's getting sick of the woke and it's, it's coming out. The funny thing is that the um, uh, SJWs see black men specifically as pets, as, uh, as uh, uh, feeble, as needing to be protected. They constantly portray them as being effeminate. Uh, and they see effeminate and gay as being the same thing. Of course, you can have, you know, be a, a gay man and be masculine. That's most of the gay men I've known in my life have been masculine. That's my whole neighbor neighborhood was masculine gay men. And let me tell you, they 
hated the Femi ones. The Femi ones would come in on the weekends to hang out at the bars. It was not, ha- they were, oh my gosh. The things that they would say <laughs> to the bridge and tunnel crowd, holy shit. I, I, can't, I can't, it's not even that I can't repeat it. I can't paraphrase it and keep my channel. Like they, they, there was no quarter drawn. They were just like, get the fuck out of my neighborhood, you, and then just a bunch of words. Uh, they did not like them at all. Uh, so uh, it's possible. I'm hesitating. It's like, it's like I'm saying it's controversial. It's possible for men to be friends without them being gay and in a relationship with each other. Men can have emotions without them being gay. Um, and it, what I'm saying about black men is specifically, you're seeing the pushback against SJWs from black men because they get to like, no, st- first of all, stop trying to make me put me in a dress. Stop telling me you're protecting me there, fella. Uh, so it was just very interesting. It was very interesting to see pushback and you see it from Kevin Hart. You see it from Dave Chappelle. You see it from Anthony Mackie because, uh, I mean, in one ways they are, you know, almost, uh, uh, there's an attempt to enfeeble them. Don't worry. You know, we'll protect you. He's like, what the hell? <laughs> but also, they can't be called racist. So they'd be like, mm, no, my character's straight. Now, in those Hollywood meetings, I feel like there's some troll at the beginning of every meeting who's like, so, Sandman, how, what are we thinking about casting? And someone's like, well, I, you know, a black woman for death, obviously. What can you say? Who's going to risk their career, entire career saying no? The only person who can actually say no is another black woman who is hopefully a lesbian. So she can say, it doesn't really make sense. The character is like literally the color white, not Caucasian, like literally white. Do you want to paint a black actress's face entirely white? No? Well, then let's, you know, rethink this casting decision. Uh, So uh, it's uh, uh, the blacks will save us. (laughs) Alternate video title. But uh, I just thought it was interesting that a homophobe in 1985 and a woke SJW in 2021, they sound exactly the same. Two guys doing anything together, fighting crime, obviously gay. I mean, it's two men. That's gay. Having any kind of emotions, you're obviously gay. No, 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 doesn't work like that. Uh, So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll have, I could have a new comic review. I can do it. Thanks for watching, bye.